Hey YouTube, this is Prince from Desi Programmer and in this video we are going to learn how we can pass data between two screens in Flutter. So in this app, all that I have as of now is that we have a material app with the title of learning where we have the home as a home page which is a stateful visit. We have a scaffold with an app bar which says screen one. Then the body is a column with two visits. The first one is a text field and the second one is a raised button as you can see. All that I want to do is that when somebody presses on this switch, we have to go to this screen two where we have a screen two visit clause which returns a scaffold, has a title of screen two and the text of received. But not just that, we don't just want to switch to the second screen, we also want to pass some data from the screen one to screen two. Let's first see how we can switch to screen two. For that, I'm saying navigator dot of context and push I don't want to push a replacement and here we need a material piece route where we have a builder and the builder takes the context and all that we want to go is screen 2 don't worry flutter will auto import this for us when I press on this button you can see that we go to a screen 2 which has a text on its center that's received pretty good now all that I want to do is that when whatever text somebody types in this text field that text should be passed to a screen 2 before doing that let me simplify some things for you flutter says that this complete screen 1 which is a home page state class is a simple class and this to another visit is another simple class so although it's debatable but in simple words we can say that any stateless or stateful visit which has a build context and returns a scaffold can be a screen which we have over here so putting this in more simpler words all that i want to say is that we have to pass some data between two dart classes that's pretty much it but yeah it sounds easy but it ain't easy as it should be Anyway, now to get some text out of this text field, we need a uh, on changed. This will call a function which accepts a string, and we can give this a string value to any variable of our own to access it any time. So I'm saying that I have a string variable named as value, and whenever this text is changed, assign the value of text to this value variable now i have the text variable in value now all that i want to do is that i have to call when i call this a screen to class i want to pass this value that is very simple in case of a stateless visit but is a bit more complex if the visit that you want to pass is a stateful visit but we'll take care of that in this single video first let's talk about stateless visit now in screen 2 i have to pass two value okay you see i am writing them as value value but you don't need to do that still it's more easy now this value is the value that we are passing and this value is the value that we are going to access in this class so here all that we have to do is that we need a variable of the same name using which we are going to access that that is this val variable value this can be anything that's completely up to you but and here when we call this a screen two, all that we need is a constructor and this constructor will say this dot value that's it save it now let's see i'm entering daisy programmer click on switch and see it gives us an error okay it says Okay, let's see the error. It says too few positional arguments, one required, zero given. Why? Actually, it should be a named constructor. So we have to pass this in parenthesis. And that's it. Now, when we save this, we will get this value in this class. And to show that, I'm just changing this text of received to value. Let's save it and let's go back here. Let's say that I'm passing they see programmer again let's click on switch and you see we have they see programmer here 
but what if this is a stateful visit then things get pretty much confusing so let's first code a stateful visit let's call this to as screen 2 it should return a scaffold with an app bar which is going to be an app bar with some title which is going to be text which will be screen 2 then in the body we have the center which has a child which is a text and it just says received but wait we are passing this value to the class of a screen 2 but here pay close attention this is the screen 2 class where we are passing the value but this is the class where we need to access that Although this class extends from this class, still it's not that simple to pass it. So first accept that in this class. For that we will again need a string of value. And then I'm saying here in screen 2 accept this string. Okay. This is going to be this dot value. Then pass the same value over here and then accept it here again okay i know it's a bit confusing it's not a bit confusing but we have to do a lot of work but that's how here it is screen state 2 where we have this dot value let's save it let's click on switch it says received because we have not changed anything so let's keep value over here let's save it again it says they see programmer let's go back let's edit it to something like john doe let's click on switch here we get john doe this just does the job but still it's recommended that here pass another value that's a key and then make this as required and then here we have to call the named function super where we pass the key as key and then we do this although the results will be same no changes even if I put some random value click on switch the results going to be same now using this you can pass any value that you want to even if a string or a map or anything let's say I have a list of string I call it names where I have two names just two names okay John and Clay just for the matter and here instead of passing this value I'm passing this names now the only error that we're going to get is that this is type of, this is of type string so we have to say that this is going to be come on not listenable list this is also going to be list that's it Ta -da here the value is going to be list now we want some single strike text so if I say 0 let's save it and see uh, let's click on switch here you get John if I say 1 then we should get clay let's go back and let's click on switch we get clay so this is that's pretty much it how we can pass value between two screens or in simple word how we can pass value between two classes in flutter I hope it was an amazing tutorial and you learned this amazing stuff which we will have to use multiple time in real world application. Well, I'll catch you up soon in the next video. Till then keep learning, keep coding. Peace.